Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. The headline on your screen is proof that there are people out there who are still incredibly bullish on XRP despite the fact that recently price hasn't been doing exactly what a lot of people would prefer that it's doing. And of course, I happen to be one of those people who is endlessly bullish on XRP because I've not been given a reason on a fundamental level, which is crucial to me, uh, to believe that XRP will not be here in the long term. And since in terms of fundamentals, XRP just keeps getting stronger, when I look at what's happening in price action, you know, in the short term, however negative it is, I'm just like, eh. I would, son, I was here when XRP was 10 cents and people said the sky is falling, everything's on fire. And after that, about a year later, it went to $2. So I look, sentiment is sentiment is sentiment. That's the story. But the truth is XRP just gets more and more adopted. That's what we've seen for over a decade. And so it's nice to see whether you agree uh, with the analysis from various... Uh, tech, you know, technical analyst guys out there, uh, whether you agree or disagree, uh, one thing that I hope we we can agree upon is that uh, it makes sense to admire the confidence that these folks have because they are not acting as the typical typical emotional limbing retail speculators uh, tend to act in moments where price go down. These people have conviction, and so whether or not their analysis is correct, that's one thing but they understand that the short-term price action doesn't actually matter. So I'm going to share with you perspective from a few different XRP chart analysts and a little bit on Bitcoin. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this video, XRP is just a hair shy of 51 cents, and it's nice to see that lately it has been hanging out above 50 cents. It was only below the 50 cent threshold, a psychological level, uh, for a very brief period. You have Bitcoin at 43,230 bucks. Um, you've got the Crypto Fear and Greed Index here at 60 out of 100. So despite a lot of sideways price action for much of the last few weeks, frankly, people still feeling greedy AF, and I don't mind that. Uh, but we're not seeing extreme greed, though. We, I think we saw only one day of extreme greed in this market cycle. You know, I mean, it, for, as, as it's been moving up since the bottom uh, over a year ago, in the end of 2022, since that point in time, I, I, I think we've only seen literally one day where we, we were in extreme greed at 76 out of 100. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that this whole thing's over because we, we certainly haven't had anything uh, like we had last market cycle with the laser eyes and the diamond hands and it can never go down and Bitcoin to $100,000, yada, 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 yada. We haven't had that type of sentiment yet. Uh, here is some perspective from uh, chart analyst Rakesh Upade writes for Cointelegraph. I'm going to share just a, a, sno a small sh snippet towards the top here and then a little bit about what he said about XRP. Uh, the launch of Bitcoin exchange traded funds in January failed to boost prices as traders focused on the outflows from the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, ignoring the net inflows into the remaining ETFs. This shows that the traders sought to sell the news and book profits on their positions. And so, my friends, right after the news broke, we didn't see a massive sell-off. And, um, and so at the moment, I was like, well, I guess it's not a buy the news or a sell the news event. And I was saying that publicly. Um, but perhaps the reason we didn't see a, a dramatic sell-off right away is because of the news the previous day. We got fake news of the approval, and it was a sell-the-news event on the fake news. Remember when the SEC account got hacked on X? That was a sell So I think that that was tainted the next day. But what we have had seen since then was Bitcoin price did trend down. It was a sell-the-news event ultimately. It's just in terms of the timeline, it wasn't just a like, snap-of-the-finger sell-off, and so it is what it is. But it sure as hell wasn't a buy-the-news event, which is in line with what I was expecting. I was saying that, uh, I don't know how many times I said that on the channel. It might have been annoying, but I was right. <laughs> because there's, I've seen this story too many times. It's a narrative, and then the price gets blown up, leading up to the narrative. And then when the thing happens, psh, that's it. But the idea that endless quantities of money would money would flow into the ETFs on day one was just silly. It just it takes time. I think I think the ETFs are going to be incredibly consequential to the positive over a longer period of time, but not in the short term, obviously. Anyway, and then he writes, however, a positive sign, and I do like this, a positive sign is that Bitcoin did not stay below the forty thousand dollar level for long. This indicates that lower levels continue to attract investors. Buying on dips and selling on rallies may keep Bitcoin inside a range for a few days. And so it is nice to see that as Bitcoin did drop into the upper 30,000s, uh, there was sufficient demand to push it right on back up. And 
and um and oh actually before i go into what uh, next analyst had to say about bitcoin let me just mention here briefly and i don't want to read the whole analysis it's on your screen here but this uh, analyst with coin telegraph for cashupa day he actually does see potentially a path forward in the short term for xrp to pop up to 67 th- 67 cents if things go well and so again when things are not so hot and price is doing you know downward action top stuff i understand that it seems impossible but as i always say it only seems impossible until suddenly it happens and then it becomes obvious of course that was going to happen yeah right well where were you when the prices were low living retail speculator Here's what chart analyst Credible Crypto had to say about Bitcoin. He's he's uh, continuing to be optimistic that what's most probable in the short term is a move to the upside. Still firmly believes we will be seeing a new all-time high for Bitcoin this year. And he wrote the following. This is the latest rumor on Bitcoin. Our local demand zone has held for now, and we are starting to see some signs of seller absorption here, uh, which is exactly what bulls want to see. We can see that spot CVD is making lower lows while price is making higher lows, indicating that spot market selling is being absorbed by passive slash limit buyers. Let's see if we can get some follow through to the upside. And so it's a bit of consolidation going on here, and we're kind of playing the lady, the waiting game. Um, now, as far as this headline that I was teasing a little bit at the outset of the video, expert says buy every dip if XRP remains in symmetrical triangle. Uh, projects rally to $22. They were sharing perspective from chart analyst E. Greg Crypto. And I'm not going to read the article. Instead, what I want to do is just share with you some of the latest perspective that he has specifically having to do with XRP. It's what's on your screen right now, including this XRP price chart. And here's what he had to say. And and by the way, th- this is, and I just, again, whatever you think about the analysis, and I think this is true of pretty much any of these guys, whether you're talking about Bitcoin or XRP, you just, you got to admire, and if you don't, you should, Uh, The fact that these guys have conviction, the price goes down, they're like, yeah, but this is what happens in volatile markets. They just accept it, the emotion doesn't hit them, and they just move forward. And so even though I'm not an analyst, that is how I live. Price goes down, I'm like, yeah, whatever, well, it's a volatile market. Uh, What do you expect? Of course it's going to go. It's not like you buy XRP or Bitcoin or any crypto, and because you bought it, now it will never be worth less than what you paid for it. Are you kidding me? It's the most volatile asset class on the entire freaking planet. You should expect it to be worth less than what you paid for it at some point in the future. Uh, but if you have the, the understanding and conviction, at least that I do, as, as, the trend goes up as years pass. So it doesn't matter in the short term. Anyway, here's what E. Greg Crypto said. XRP wave to analysis. Regular, irregular, or running. And so you can see, uh, if you're looking at the screen, uh, three kinds of flats. And so that's what he's referencing right here. Three different types. And he says... My inclination leans towards a regular pattern for uh, for XRP's wave two correction with expectations that the corrective wave C won't dip below 41 cents. However, should this count prove inaccurate, there's a possibility of wave C reaching as low as 35 to 40 cents. It's crucial to note that maintaining above 28 cents is a key factor on a macro view. XRP Army, the road might be tough, trying the patience of even the most dedicated believers, but get ready for the big mega boom coming soon. XRP Army, stay steady and know what hodl. I think he means know no, what you hodl. I have strong confidence that the time between 2024-2025 could bring a chance for a life-changing opportunity. And so I will say this. Um, that part at the end there... I could not be more in agreement Um, with the only caveat for me being we have to see equities continue to move to the upside because crypto, crypto assets are risk on assets, just like equities, you know, risk on assets. So if if you're going to have trouble in the stock market, you're going to talk market, you're, you're going to have trouble with crypto in terms of price action. But if we see a move to the upside for equities, And I firmly believe we're going to see a move to the upside for crypto. The asset class moves in tandem. If Bitcoin hits a new all-time high as a result, we're going to see a blow-off top for XRP. New all-time high price discovery. That's my bet. And I acknowledge I could be wrong. I do not know for sure if that will will happen. And if I'm wrong, I could lose everything and it goes to zero. That is possible. But I don't think that's what's probable. I've been tracking XRP for over, I mean, I've been holding it for over six years. I've been tracking it regular pretty much every single day of my life since then. I, I just, it doesn't make sense. It, like the idea of it not, of that not happening doesn't compute to me because XRP adoption and usefulness continues to increase. 
And it looks to me like the market is is appreciating that to a degree. The fact that XRP's always been in the top 10 cryptos by market cap, that's a sign right there. So fine, XRP legs behind it and it irritates people and it makes people feel scared and angry and all sorts of emotions. But isn't that some vote of confidence? Because that's super rare. There's only three cryptos on the planet that have always been in the top 10 coins by market cap. Doesn't that mean something? Even if there's a lot of boring sideways price action? So what? You know? Then there was this from chart analyst Dark Defender. He shared this XRP price chart, and he seems equally confident we're going to see a mega move to the upside in the not-too-distant future. Hi, all. I would like to share the XRP update with you today on the monthly time frame with the MACD indicator. When we check the price, trend, and MACD, there is one thing obvious. XRP leap. Squeezed and squeezed for all aspects in the charts, and now between 52 cents and 46 cents. Psychological tests for years, but XRP had an extraordinary technical move in Elliott Waves, and it is developing the third and will prove it. I am here to win, and I will. Chop, chop, XRP is coming. Again, sentiment not shaken by what happens in the short term, and it's easier for an analyst to get that because you're so... Um, ensconced in the data, right? Like, you're so aware of what's happening, right? And I just think back to when XRP was new, like, go back over a decade, you know, the first roughly half a decade, you know, uh, for several years in particular, XRP, I mean, volatile to a certain degree just because it's crypto, uh, you didn't have some sort of blow off top for the first X number of years. And so back, like, I'm just saying that there is precedent for it to roughly move sideways for a number of years on end. I just think that it's even worse this time because of the, um, you know, the artificial activity that occurred as a result of the SEC suing Ripple and attacking XRP holders. I think we would have seen a blow off top if not for that by now. Uh, back in 2021, frankly, when we had, uh, you know, all of crypto going bonkers. But I, all I'm saying is, this has happened before. So the fact that we're waiting for literally years on end shouldn't be surprising even. You should expect, why wouldn't you expect that to be the case? I expect that to be the case. After we missed the blow off top last cycle because of the SEC, I was like, well, there we go. See you in a few years, I guess, you know, when there's, when there's euphoria again. So as long as the euphoria comes, though, I still think we're going to see that. I'd just be shocked if we, it just wouldn't make sense to me because the market does value those cryptos that do stuff more than those cryptos that don't. And there are a lot of ways that that manifests itself in the world of crypto, which I've been talking about a lot lately, frankly. So all that to say, whatever you want to do, doesn't make a difference to me personally. You know, I wish you all the best in your journey and what you're doing, because I think that most of us are trying to achieve life-changing wealth in crypto. Uh, that is still a real thing. That to me, that's, as I've said many times before, it's the, the most empowering thing about this is the idea that it's possible. And even if most people aren't going to make it because they don't have the emotional fortitude necessary to see this through, or even the necessary um, you know, information, if, even if they had the emotional fortitude to follow through, the opportunity is still there. It is very real. It is alive and well. So I'm going to see this thing through, and I refuse to be shaken up because of some stupid-ass short-term price action, which I know is actually meaningless. Take it for what it's worth. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambeau.